Welcome back to Half Moon Tech Labs. It's been a while. Winter kind of got in the way, life got in the way, and uh, so I haven't made a video for a while, but for those of you who've been asking, we're ready to make another one. Let's get to it. Let's see. Um, my wife was nice enough to uh, leave this on my workbench a little while ago. And for those of you who are not married, this uh, question, your next video, question mark, I'll try to translate for you. If you're married, that means this is your next video. <laughs> Not really. She's not that way. But uh, let's take a look. Uh, she has this. It's a, it's a, this will be a quick project, but basically, um, this is a waste paper basket. Uh, got an old beat up, what was that, rattan, wicker, whatever. Um, and uh, she wants to turn it into a lamp. And if you take a look, let's see what it looks like here in its original form. We have a little bit of a hole in the middle here. And that we're going to leverage by putting this lamp kit. Push that aside for a second. So here's a lamp kit that she picked up. This one says Seaside Village Pendant Light Cord. So it's a 15 foot, 18 gauge light kit with a built-in dimmer and a US standard plug. And the problem with this, as I explained to my wife, was these wires are usually riveted inside here. And plus, when you take these shells apart, sometimes they don't like to go back together right. So I'm not even going to pry that apart yet. What I'm going to do is take a look at this. Where are we? Okay, so we're on this end. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to open this up and hopefully we get lucky and there's a place where we can separate the wire here because at some point we have to fish the wire through this hole. And we also have to be able to tighten this little nut that's on the lamp on here. But that's, as you can tell, it's not going to be a mechanically sound uh, connection. So I asked my wife to go get some, uh, uh, she went over to, Lowe's or Home Depot, I can't remember, picked up this little piece of, uh, it's like 93 thousandths thick polycarbonate uh, sheeting uh, with a protective film on each side. And what I want to do with this, I'm going to give it a try. Hopefully this works like I intend. I've got a hole saw and I'm going to cut a couple of, uh, what is this? This is a two and an eighth hole saw. So uh, that'll it'll be about, about this big. And what I want to do is take this hole saw and cut a couple of pieces out of this sheet. Hopefully we can do that without making too much of a mess in the workshop. We'll go down there shortly. And uh, what we'll do is we'll make two of those and those will be sort of your, uh, sort of a clear washer that has some, some rigidity to it that we can put on the top and bottom of this and sandwich uh, this lamp in between so that we have something with a little uh, more surface area that covers this on both sides so that we don't pull through and uh, drop a lamp on top of somebody, <laughs> so, or at least the shade. Anyway, let's give it a try. But um, real quick, I want to open up this and see what's inside. So let's do that. Let's put this guy aside. And I'll make sure we're in shot. Yes. Just a couple of Phillips screws to open this thing up, I guess. This one. Second one. Okay. Um, so here we have a, this is important, this is good. We have a polarized plug. One, one prong is fatter than the other. The thinner one is typically your hot on a US standard uh, outlet. The fatter one is your neutral, and that is something to keep in mind because, uh, as you see, one of those wires goes through the dimmer circuit, the other just passes by, oh, well, that's not good, the wire's already, the insulation's already been abraded away. <laughs> this has never even been opened up yet. Uh, all right, well, well, that's going to help answer a 
question I had, which was how do I want to go about this? Uh, I think it's going to be pretty easy. I'm going to have to, when I get down to the workshop, I'm going to cut here because I'm going to have to repair this anyway. I'm not going to, I'm not going to um, give this to my wife with a known electrical issue in there. So I'm going to cut that. We will unsolder this one. That will free up these wires and I can then fish that through the hole inside that basket and uh, through the washers that we'll make uh, down in the workshop. And then we'll just reassemble it. I'll um, I'll splice this back together, put some heat shrink on there, reassemble this properly so it's electrically sound. And uh, while we're at it, while we're in the workshop, uh, actually I can do that right here real quick. I'm gonna grab a meter and I'm going to check. I'm gonna check and see if these prongs are wired up properly. By that I mean um, I should not see continuity, well I should see continuity between the hot prong and, let's see, here we go. All right, so going between the hot lead and here, good. All right, that's good. And then we'll just double check on the neutral side no continuity. Okay, that's good. So that means that you have to be careful because some of the stuff that comes in from overseas, um, uh, sometimes the safety isn't as good as you would hope. And I have seen in many cases where the neutral is what's wired through something like this. So you want to double check uh, because this is what kind of uh, saves your bacon uh, for, a, for a US standard outlet and socket like this. If this was uh, not polarized and you plugged it in backwards, you could end up making this ring hot here instead of the pin down on the bottom. And that matters because if you're screwing in a light bulb and you uh, come into, you inadvertently come into contact with the, the outside edge of the bulb, which typically is not hot, and this happened to be turned on, you could uh, get a jolt from that. Uh, pretty nasty. So anyway, good to double check. So that's good. We'll uh, unsolder that. We'll clip that. We'll go downstairs. We'll take our sheet and this, and we'll make a couple of washers. Hopefully we can get it in the first couple of tries, and then we'll, uh, we'll put it together. So let's, uh, let's go down to the workshop and give that a try. All right, excuse the uh, extra background noise. We are down in the basement workshop now, so you can hear the furnace and everything going in the background. But anyhow, uh, so I chose uh, the polycarbonate instead of um, acrylic sheeting because acrylic tends to craze and crack and uh, and it can splinter and break a lot easier than polycarbonate. Polycarbonate is generally what they make bulletproof windows out of. It is super rugged. Uh, it, it will it, it can be scratched but will it will deform in a kind of a softer manner. It's super rugged. This stuff is great so that's why I chose to use polycarbonate to make these washers out of so they'll be rigid and clear um, and they won't break. Anyway so uh, uh, I'm going to get this thing uh, uh, jigged up. Uh, we'll probably use a little piece of uh, backing material here on the drill press. Uh, we'll clamp it down and then we're going to very gently try to use a hole saw to make a couple of uh, two and an eighth inch washers out of this material. So I don't know how it's going to go. I'll give it a try. All right, we'll give it a try. Here we go. Looks like we did okay.
Okay, let's knock that out. Polycarbonate washer. That worked good. All right, let's make another. Here was number two. Number two. All right. That worked really slick. I'm kind of surprised. I thought that uh, I'd have to use a hand drill and go backwards with that, but I went very gently and used a, a backing board and was able to make uh, some perfect washers out of that. So that worked good. All right. On to the next thing. We have to, we now have to open up these holes uh, so that they're large enough for the lamp screw to go through there. So we'll do that now. Okay, here we go. Now, if you recall, we want these to serve as washers, and we're going to sandwich these around either side of the wastebasket that we're using as our lampshade. And so to get this threaded section here, I'll show you what I'm talking about. If we back this nut off, this threaded section here is what needs to pass through these holes. So they obviously have to be opened up a bit. Let's take a look. It's 0.375. There we go. So, 3 eighths it is. I need a 3 eighths bit. That one somewhere. There we go. Okay, 3 eighths. We'll get this mounted up in the drill. And we'll punch these two out real quick and uh, see how it works. Okay, we have our two 3 8 holes drilled through the center of these. I'm going to clean these up real quick and remove the plastic on both sides. Oh yeah. Clean that up a little bit and uh, see, how it, uh, see how it fits in its duty as a washer on a wastebasket lamp. We'll give that a try. Okay, these actually cleaned up pretty good. Here we have our two, two and an eighth by 93 thousandths thick. Just happens to be the thickness of this, so um, a little less than an eighth of an inch. And uh, we have uh, two of them that will be sandwiched on either side of the, of the basket. One washer on this side, one on the inside with this passing in between them and the nut scrunching them all together. So we're going to give that a try. Now, if you recall this little piece here, we had some electrical concerns and we also need to liberate the cord so that I can get it through this hole. So I'm going to open this up now and um, we will uh, uh, clip those two wires. Actually, one needs to be unsoldered. The other one needs to be cut and um, we'll pass it through everything, see how it fits, and then we'll reconnect it and uh, Pretty soon, maybe we'll be able to check out our lamp. All right, let's open this thing up again. Okay, and if you recall, we have this one wire, which is already compromised. That is the neutral, if you, were, if you remember. 
So I'm going to actually cut this off. I just remember the one that's exposed with the white hair is neutral. I'm taking that off. This one, I am going to desolder. So. That's our hot. So let's fish the wire, give it a try. All right, here we go. And we're gonna fish this through. Remember, we're gonna make a sandwich, one of these on one side, one on the inside, and the wire passing through all of them. And it's all gonna be cinched together with that nut. So let's do that. Let's find the other end of this. Past that from there. Hmm. Well, seems we have a problem here. The overall thickness of this basket is thicker than I thought. Here it goes. That is not going to go through there. Well, the idea was this. Was how it's supposed to go. However, there's not enough threaded, there's no threads actually protruding through here. I thought it was going to be thinner than that, but it's not. There's no easy way to measure that. So, but we'll have to switch to plan B, come up with another solution. Be right back. All right. Uh, went through my junk drawer and we have a bunch of miscellaneous lamp parts here from previous projects and fixes. And I think I've come up with a solution. If you look at this, this is the problem. This threaded section is not long enough to accommodate the two pieces here and the basket and have enough threads left to put the nut on top. Thought it would just fit. It does not. So anyway, this calculation on my part, like I said, kind of hard to measure that beforehand, but uh, now we know. But I noticed that if I unscrew this, it has the same thread going into the bottom, which is typical. So. What if I was to just remove this and put a regular lamp part on there, same thread, which we'll verify in just a second, but it looks like it's the same standard. Yep, it is. I can see right here. Okay, so I'm going to take this off. I'm going to replace it with this, and we can probably still use this end cap and still make it look good, and uh, it'll be mechanically sound. So let's, uh, let's give that a try. Yeah, there we go. That's going to work nice. And then same on the other side. Yep, all right, we'll give that a try here. Now it's time to start tightening some of this up. jam nut so that can't come undone okay then we're going to thread through the basket side on. Oh yeah. Okay, we're going to 
put a washer just like we did on the other side. We're even going to put a jam net. I'm sorry, a shake proof uh, star washer here and, uh, and a nut. Oh yeah, <laughs> that's gonna work nice. And again, polycarbonate's great because it's super strong. It's not brittle, so it won't crack. Um, like I said, it's what they make bulletproof glass out of. It's good stuff. Uh, CDs, DVDs are made of polycarbonate for a reason too. It's, uh, it's optically clear, it's flexible, yet super strong. It's also a good electrical insulator. So, uh, and it can take a fair amount of heat. So there we go. That's, uh, oh, we're going to put the, uh, this guy back on just to neaten it up. And before we go too crazy, let's, uh, cinch this up. go. Let's give it a little more. Nice. Now we can bring this thing home. And there we go. We have a actual hanging lamp cord. There we go. Nice, huh? It worked. That's what she wanted. So now we just have to uh, do the electrical connections again and show my wife and see what she thinks. All right, let's reassemble this. Start with soldering this back in. There we go. Okay. There we go. Dimmers reassembled. Lamp is made. Let's go give it a try. All right, well, here we are. I've tested it, but that's not an indication of whether or not the project is done. So here we go. All right, go ahead and give it a try. Tell me what you think. Wow, that looks great. Is that what you're looking for? It is, exactly. Nice. And I like that it's dimmable. Cool. That's nice. All right. Thank you. You're welcome. Project complete.